check out my shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Let's make Kentucky. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I liked that when I saw it the other day. I'm going to go out and start mowing, and I'm going with the 20 volt DeWalt weed eater. And uh, I've caught some flack off of a prior video I made is the DeWalt 20 volt platform, a good platform for a homeowner. And uh, I've had a couple people say, you know, we don't make, can't make any sense of what you're saying. So let me clear it up. Okay, here's what I was trying to say the other day. Now today, camera wise, all I've got is uh, some GoPros with me, no external mics. So you're just gonna have to live with the volume the way it is, the noise the way it is. But what I was trying to say in the is the 20 volt DeWalt system a good platform for you is this when you buy one of these it's going to come with a 20 volt battery when you buy one of these this is the 20 volt it's going to come with a 20 volt battery when you buy the DeWalt 20 volt weed eater comes with a 20 volt battery but when you buy the 60 volt chainsaw it's coming with this battery here the 60 volt 20 volt 60 volt flex volt battery runs the 60 volt chainsaw but what makes it so great for a homeowner is you're not going to be using this all the time but this will work on your 20 volt drill your 20 volt hedge trimmer makes it a lot stronger can trim a lot of shrubs with this battery right here Fits your 20 volt weed eater. Makes your weed eater stronger, last longer. Stronger, last longer. Huh. So, anyway, that's why I was saying the 20 volt platform is such a good platform. Is when you buy this, then this battery is not just sitting around waiting for when you use that again. You use it on any 20 volt stuff you've got and it makes it stronger. I hope that clears that up. I know sometimes I don't make things as clear as I should, but anyway, that's why I think that this is such a good platform for a homeowner. You don't have to have gas sitting around, gas in your garage, gas going old on you, and so on. It's very convenient. Now that that's over, let's go mow. Horst and I have been out mowing and it is really, really dusty boy or dry here in Kentucky. I've had a central heat and air unit ordered for a little over a week now. I've got one that's been giving me some trouble. And so I went ahead and ordered one, have it here on hand so that I'll have one if it goes out and it's coming in. The guy just called me and so said he's about 20 minutes away. A guy came and looked at my dad's Mustang yesterday and he called me about 30 minutes ago said he'd be here in about an hour to buy it so got a couple of things going on as some of you that have followed my videos for a while you probably know that my dad passed away in february of 2015 and this was his mustang and i've had it up here uh it's been up here for over a year and it's just not my thing uh, i don't like to fool with old cars my dad did, and so anyway, I've sold it. You know, today's the day that it goes to a new guy. This car is 33 years old. So anyway, we're gonna say goodbye to that here in a little bit. Then the guy should be here in a minute with the heating and air unit and then we'll go back to mowing the air conditioner unit has arrived
There is no better time than for us to learn how to mow than right now. This is new to him. He's got to learn sometime. I told him don't open it wide open because that way the hydrostats on it, you know, are not so sensitive. I told him just give it a little bit of gas, go slow, take your time, get used to the way it steers. And I feel like the best thing I can do for him is just get out of the way. Because when somebody's standing over you and staring at you, a lot of times it makes you nervous when you're trying to learn something new. I just have so many trees that makes it hard flying a drone here. Hey, I ain't thought about doing this. You can blow your drive off with the drone. 